Hey guys, Skin Mirror, welcome back to their awesome episode of Spanish. I got a bit done in between this episode and the one before. Uh, this creeper hole was not me. <laughs> that was not one of the things I got done. And it looked like it might be Mike because, hi Skidim, I passed through not too far of a walk, Mike. So he's pretty close. He's also in a snowy biome. And he left us with a nice little rabbit's foot. Um, if you see over here, there's a few more interesting things. We also gathered up some more items from around. I need to go on a big mining trip to get a ton of resources and stuff. That's going to be a big plan for the end of this episode. But as you can see, I only have one piece of cooked chicken, so I'm going to have to either run back to spawn or wait for this thing to heat up a little more. I've left the lava out of our chicken farm. I did this off camera because we already built one this series, and it's really simple. I built a lot of these, um, so you can check out a tutorial down in the description below if you want to see that. But yes, I built a chicken farm, <laughs> a very ugly one with cobblestone, so it's just temporary, and hopefully it'll start generating us some eggs. I also got that guy over there. Um, as you can see, we have a few chickens up here too. Um, and this guy here um, is a zombie villager. So I found one, named it, and we'll be able to start our whole villager journey with him. Now, I think that's all the new stuff. Of course, um, some basic stuff like the anvil and little water, um, infinite water source. But I think that's just about it for what I've been doing off camera. A lot of boring stuff and a lot of AFKing, waiting for the chicken farm to heat up with food. The villager was really the only cool thing. I wished I would have been able to record that. Um, so sorry about that. But it looks like Mike and I Davis are now on the server, so I'm going to jump into a quick call with them, talk to them for a little bit, and also hopefully get started on this mining trip soon when we get hey some Hey guys, food. so I am just getting back from a trip to spawn. I grabbed some food, I also grabbed some eggs. It is much quicker through the nether portal, which is where those pieces of netherrack lead to. It's a pretty quick trip, so I'm going to throw out of this chicken down in here and we should have enough now to go on a good mining trip so I'm gonna make some more chickens but first off we have this guy here and over in this chest I have a weakness potion and a golden apple and we'll be able to turn this guy into our first villager so I'm gonna throw the weakness potion cue the apple and he should start shaking oh no the apple didn't hit him okay there Got the weakness potion. Is the app why is that? Why is he not picking up the apple? I can see the weakness potion going off of him. Do I right click him? There we go. Okay, so it's a right click and not a Q. Um, I probably should have known that. But he's going to slowly turn into a villager. And I'm just going to block this off now. Because when he turns, um, he's going to get. Oh, he's not going to move now. Can't place the block. But when he turns, any uh, baby zombie can get in there. We don't want that. So I'll do a little more erratic way of blocking that off. Okay, there we go. I just finished queuing in, or throwing in, the rest of those eggs. Um, I'm going to leave this a little while longer before we start harvesting the chicken um, to make this a bit more productive. I think we're pretty much there. That's a good amount of chickens. In there now finally and this guy is still and into there we go he has turned and we have a nice little librarian 40 rod and flash for an emerald 10 gold for an emerald um, so we'll probably try to unlock some more traits actually you know what I have some rotten flesh here so let's grab ourselves a little emerald there we go that's pretty cool so the next thing on the list is now that I have food and I have a pickaxe it is time to go on a mine. So that ended up being a little more than just a mining trip. It ended up being a three. If you look in here, here are all the items we gathered. I started off in a mine, did two trips there, and then I found an abandoned mine shaft and did another trip. So we got a bunch of coal. We will not be needing coal probably for the rest of the map unless we build with it. Um, good amount of gold, a good amount of redstone, a bunch of lapis, only 12 diamonds. Kind of sad about that, even with our fortune two. Um, but we managed to get 12 diamonds, so at least we have some diamonds. A ton of iron, so we'll be good for a very long time. Um, a bunch of other miscellaneous resources, and importantly, also, some rails. 
And the only other thing to note here is that we did get three ender pearls, and we can work our way uh, once we go head back to the nether and get some more blaze rods uh, towards getting to the end and killing the ender dragon and of course getting some elytra. And I think the rest of this episode is now going to be spent over here in this village. I've gathered a bunch of resources and we're going to protect all the villagers from both themselves falling off cliffs and such and from zombie invasion by building a wall around them and also just generally tidying up the whole... Um, village and that's going to be a little tough because this village is a complicated one it's on a hill but we're going to get started on just making this thing look neater and nicer by building a wall um, around it so if we come up here i'm going to take out some of this dirt right here and uh, basically what we're going to be doing is we'll use the same uh, like wall building tactics as we did earlier in our base. So I need this, this, and I also need a crafting table because we're going to make some uh, fences. Okay, there we go. And it's already getting dark, so this wasn't a really, this wasn't really smart planning on my part, but let me grab some dirt here too. And so we're going to be uh, changing the land, lay of the land up a bit as we do this probably. But let's say I build like that. That might look a little weird. Um, but we'll do something like this and just make an outline around the whole place. Um, so what I'm thinking actually is we can just uh, go along here, along this wood and bring it back up. And then we can do something like that again. And I don't know if that looks better just like that or if we should just connect it um, just with the fence. Connecting it just with the fence to the buildings might look better. Let's go in and just look at that. Um, but I'll figure all of this out too. And I'm just going to go along the whole place and start doing this. And I think what'll look good is making it in a third person timeline. 